let's go for a ride. She scoots today. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, feels good today. A little chilly, but I got a good video for you guys. I've been reading the comments. You guys want to see a video with the GTR? Here it is. Let's get it. Got to get the keys. Quick little backstory on the car. It is my dad's car. It is a 2009 GTR. It was built by Workhorse Performance. They're located up like Cecil County way. I absolutely love this car. It's right now, it's at a thousand horsepower. Um, we're waiting for MoTeC to come in. Once the MoTeC comes in, it's gonna be on kill. It's gonna be a Texas 2K. We're gonna take it all over, race the crap out of it. I'm gonna do some half miles in it, do a quarter mile on it. My dad doesn't really drive the car that much. Built it, races it whenever anyone really wants to race. Um, just for fun, honestly. He enjoys it and it's fun as crap to drive. Super cold out. That E85 starts about to be weak. Jesus! My dad bought this car brand new in 2009. Um, car only has like 21, 22,000 miles on it. He only drives it when it's nice out. Um, today, I got off work a little early. I have to go get some E85 for it because we're gonna take it out this weekend. I gotta twist his arm to come out to come out to like cars and coffee and stuff. So he's gonna come out. Um, if anyone wants to race, we're at cars and coffee. Uh, I forget the which one it's go we're going to. It's up in Pennsylvania. Street it's like the big street speed one. I don't know exactly, but yeah, we're gonna go there. If anyone wants to race, just hit me up. We'll be there. Um, GTR is at a thousand horsepower right now. It's on wastegate because it's not tuned hundred percent like perfection on the hub dyno. So yeah, that's where it sits. Let me pop the hood and show you a little bit underneath before we get on the road because I'm gonna let it warm up for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I gotta load up the E85 drugs and go to the gas station that's like maybe 20 minutes away. Give you a little bit of pools and stuff. There was a lot of cops out today, so I gotta be chill. And uh, yeah, let me show you under the hood. As you just saw into the engine bay a little bit, some of you guys might have some questions. If you want to hit me up, I'll go over all the details, what's done to the engine. I mean, we're not really a big, my dad doesn't really grudge race the car. He could care less about all that. He just enjoys it and likes like roll racing and stuff on the highway. Uh, and like going on rallies and stuff, he enjoys that. But yeah, it's a GTR motor, 3.8, um, built by Workhorse Performance. It has, I forget the exact size turbos. I have to check, I have it like listed everything on my phone. But I'm pretty sure we're like the second biggest in stock housing at the time. But now you can even go bigger because they found a way to like cut the frame all up a little bit and like mock it up in a nice way where the car is still structurally strong, but you can fit bigger turbos instead of having them front mounted like you've seen like uh, Alpha cars, I believe some of them and some Cicero cars they do. But this build is a whole lot cheaper than them. And it has a 12 injector setup at the top. Let me show you in case you guys didn't know. It's a little different mustangs don't have that but here it is this is the 12 injector setup so i believe it's 1100 cc primaries and that's what runs full time on the car so the gas mileage is still good and then once you start hammering on the car um the secondaries i believe are 1600 cc and all of it comes on the 1100 and the 1600 once you're flooring it because a lot of power a lot of fuel and it's crazy like this weather when it's like 30 degrees out this car is uncontrollable to drive once you're getting on it tires got to be like right on the money warm it's just crazy without motec the the factory computer system in this car cannot keep up with the power so it is on the stock electronic ecu so the ecu that controls the whole trash control system in this car once we get motec that uh, that like computer system will be controlling the transmission only and the MoTeC will be running the whole rest of the car the motor the wheels like sensors will be going on every little piece of the car say you're on your 20s you're on your street pack tires whatever you want to call it you're on your street drivable set and it's super cold out but the MoTeC having MoTeC for example you can just put your foot to the floor with MoTeC and it's pretty much I don't want to say drive the car for you but it's gonna help the car put down as much power as possible to make the fastest pass on any type of road condition. 
and sometimes you do hear it when GTRs are racing at the track, you hear it kind of start cutting up a little bit, the car's pulling timing as you're getting one because it starts to slip a little bit and it's like where should the car throw the power? And that's just what Motec does, it's, it's crazy. Um, these cars came a long way. Personally, I liked this car better when it was full bolt ones. I think it was more fun in a sense because I don't know, the transmission obviously it's a built trans it's a lot harder the ships are a lot more like aggressive like it hits puts you back a little bit but i i don't know i just think full bolt ones is more fun to me because you don't have to worry about as much like you know built motor and stuff we don't really have to worry about it it's built by antonio workhorse performance so never had any problems with it and it's always been good i mean i can't complain also this car still does have factory ac and he has cars at his shop that are making like 1500 1600 horsepower ac everything still getting them up 20 miles to the gallon which is crazy because if you're trying to build a corvette or a mustang it takes a lot more to be able to do that with the gtrs they're just a totally different animal and not hating on mustangs or corvettes because i have both i uh, well did have both but i have two mustangs now i think the gtr is the best car to build power wise very expensive uh extremely don't get me wrong they're not cheap that's why i was like shit if i got a gtr it would just stay full bolt ones but yeah guys the gtr just the way it performs and drives after it's built you would never expect the car to be built if that makes sense so like if any of you guys just came over jumped in the gtr put it in drive and just got in and like was cruising you would never know it was built but on the other hand if a vet's built or a mustang's built you're obviously gonna definitely tell like this car idles quiet doesn't sound extremely loud not chopping still getting great gas mileage let's go for a ride She scoots today, boys. She is scooting. Driving this car compared to any other new cars, um, I actually, I would really like to drive a new GTR. So if anyone has one that watched my videos and you wanna let me drive it, honestly, please hit me up. I would love to do a video on it. Like old GTR, the first one that came to America, 2009, versus a, um, like a 2018 or plus. I mean, I feel like that'd be awesome to do. Uh, this car just feels a lot older. I mean, it doesn't even have automatic headlights, guys. You gotta like flick the switch. Nothing wrong with that. It's honestly a little better because less sh to break. And a lot of the stuff I own ends up breaking. Got the radar detector mounted up. It's a nice little bracket. It actually works perfect in this car. I always have the Mustang one just literally slid up on my visor because I always take it in and out from my truck to my car so much. This would be a pain having it mounted here. But yeah guys, so this is the interior of a 2009 GTR. Inside of it is pretty much brand new, honestly. Besides the seats, that's just leather being leather, getting wrinkled a little bit over the years. This is one of my all time favorite cars and I definitely will own a GTR one day. Dang, radar's going crazy. Oh, and there they are running radar. And that is exactly why I didn't do a pull because they always say, this is the gas station with the E85. Hopefully, yeah, I think the gas pump's on this side. Oh, sick Camaro, dude. Let's go stuff her with some E85, boys. Hopefully the jugs didn't go flying around. Oh, they moved a little bit. This is what we need right there. Flex fuel, 51%, 83% ethanol but we can check that when we get in the car. So we got the E85, filled up both jugs. Didn't take too much, 57 bucks, 22 gallons for everything. The car was on like half a tank. Granted, it wasn't a full tank and that's about 10 gallons right there. So the GTR took maybe 12 gallons, give or take a little bit, but yeah, gotta be careful on the way home. Don't recommend driving with fuel in the back. It is dangerous. If I get rebranded, RIP me. Drop a comment, guys. If you like this video, I mean, I can do more reviews on other cars, such as GT500s, um, whatever the case may be. I could probably find people with cars and I could do a review on them. Maybe drive them a little bit, show you what they are and how I can compare them to other cars. Because um, I have driven a good bit. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys like it. I usually don't like driving other people's cars. 
just for the example of people like, oh, it's not your car, but obviously I know that. Not saying it's mine, but it's whatever. Let me know if you like it. Best feeling in the world when it is pegged on full. I could drive it every day. I wish I could have daily drove one of these. Like when it first came out, that'd have been awesome. One thing I do hate about driving the GTR or pretty much any nice car out, you always have those people that want to tailgate you and their little ricers or whatever you want to call it. Looks like a freaking Honda Fit back there. Sticker bombed his hood. Don't be that guy. God, the turbo noise is freaking insane in this car. This car, honestly, once you get into it and you put the suspension in comfort mode so it has more travel, I swear, the front end lifts up like an old school like Monte Carlo race car and the ass end just tucks down and just feels like it wants to go. In these cars, you don't like to just floor it, mat the gas right away. Um, especially in automatic mode, just because these cars tend to load up, especially the way it sits and it's not 100% finely tuned on the hub dyno. But yeah, guys, she was moving right there. Cut the car back to the house. All the temps you can see are running perfectly fine. Trans temp, that's the hottest it's got in the car. I just left the car outside running for like 15 minutes. So 170 and that is super cool for this car. Um, just because it, everything is built, but the trans cooler is running 24 7 and that is a big thing You have to watch out for these cars is the trans temp always keep an eye on that Mustang looking clean god this new front end on the s 550s is one of my favorite I mean the 2016 the deep impact blue one I had was perfect But god they made the front end so much more aggressive. I love this car so much this car Many videos coming with this. I got suspension mods on the way. It's going to go in the dyno. And we're going to end up doing a full breakdown of this car. We're going to do 18 manifold, what it has. Add the JLT intake. Tune it. See what it does. We're going to go step by step and show you as we add every little piece of this car on here. What it does on the dyno. And see if anything actually helps. Um, I just want to give all the information out there so you guys make the right decision for your S550. Um, if you're going to do an all-motor build or you're going to end up going boosted because I'm going to do an all-nasty all-motor build. I have something planned. I got a cool intake, cool stuff on the way for this car, and stay tuned, guys. It is going to be awesome build with this car. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because more videos to come. I try to post two videos every single week. I do still work full-time, and it is tough getting the videos out when the weather is super cold like this. It's just a mess, but I do my best because it's what I love to do, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna post the address to the car show we're going to Sunday. I believe it is for like kids and stuff, so maybe you can bring some toys, canned food, and donate to, I don't know where. Maybe you could just drop it off when you get there. I don't know, I just saw the event online, read about it, and I saw Street Speed was talking a little bit about it, and I was like, okay, cool. Definitely might have to make the drive. Trying to get a big group of cars to ride out there with. So if you're in my area and you guys want to all meet up somewhere, we can all cruise out there together, feel free, DM me on Instagram, Italian Stallion 410 and we could do some rolls on the way up there too. Other than that, if you have any questions about the car and who built the car and where that shop is located and you want a built GTR, uh, feel free to DM me. I will let you guys know all the information you need and I will try to put as much as I can in the description of this video. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Please smash the like button and subscribe if you're new here. I'm Jake, I'm out, peace.